hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here don't forget to subscribe and hit that all the bell notification in that way you won't miss any time I publish a new video also to mention I started a new YouTube channel Laura Force videos too so be sure to go across there check it out and of course don't forget to subscribe over on that end as well all right so what are we going to be making today well Okay guys, so I decided I'm going to make some dumplings to go with my cow heel and butternut and carrot soup. So we're going to make a cornmeal dumpling to go along with it. So we're going to use a half cup of cornmeal. Okay, so we have a half cup of cornmeal. I'm going to use a half cup of flour. In my case, I'm using gluten-free flour. This is a bacon flour blend. So it has everything. So that's a half cup of flour. I'm just going to put a little bit of salt. going to put one tablespoon of sugar this is optional all right so let's just form this into some dumplings for our soup I'm just going to add a little bit of water. Alright, so this feels moist enough that I could form it into little dumplings okay so what I'm gonna do is just like break off a piece I'm just gonna roll it in to the shape that I want something like this um, actually you know what I'm actually gonna even make this smaller I'm gonna cut it in half so making it more like a bite-sized piece. Well, not necessarily bite-sized, but I'm just gonna make smaller ones. You can do whatever you want. Some people roll it like this. Some people actually um, want it more like a, in a circular shape. So they actually will, you know, press it into Yeah, so you can either, like I said, you can either do it like, like this, or if you want to make it more circular. Get some of this flour off my finger. You can actually just kind of press it in and make it more like this shape. But I'm going to make my own this way. All right, so I have my dumplings here ready to go into my pot. Okay guys, so today we're going to be making some cow heel soup with butternut squash and carrots. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to roast the butternut squash and carrots first and then I'm going to pressure cook the cow heels in some chicken broth and other seasoning. So let's get to finish cutting up the carrots and putting it in the oven in order for it to roast. All right, so here I have um, cut up everything. So what I'm going to do now is just drizzle some olive oil on this. Okay, and I'm gonna put some 
dry time. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of Lori seasoning salt. I won't put much at this point in time because I can always adjust um, after if I need to add any more salt. I'm also going to put some Mrs. Dash. Um, this is actually steak seasoning, but I'm going to use this as well. This doesn't have any salt in it. Okay, now I also had some red split lentils soaking in some water. I did add a little bit of baking soda in the water. So I just rinsed it out and drained it. I'm also going to add this to the cow heel while I'm pressure cooking the pressure cooking the cow heel. All right, so this is what I'm going to be putting into the oven to roast. All right, so this goes into the oven. Okay, so the vegetables went into the oven to roast at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 minutes. Now I'm going to work on seasoning my cow heel. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut up some, I have three, yes, that's the third one here. I have three Chardon Benny leaves here, as you can see. So I'm gonna cut this up. I have some, what is called bush basil. So I'm just gonna um, rip this up and I'm gonna add that to my cow heel. Um, I have about a quarter of a lime. I'm going to add that to the cow heel. And in here, I have some um, celery, spring onions, and onion, red onions. I'm just going to rip the leaves in here. Right. I'm just going to squeeze some of the lime. Not much. It's not a half of a lime. It's just about a quarter of the lime. Make sure you don't put any seeds in it. Um, I'm just going to throw this in here as well because I'm going to pressure cook everything together. So I might as well throw that in. And um, all right, so to that now, what we're gonna add again, we're gonna add some of the Lori seasoning salt to this. All right. Again, I'm gonna add some of the Mrs. Dash steak seasoning. I'm gonna add, um, and some of the thyme as well. All right, that should be good. Notice I'm not adding much um, because we have added to the other things. And like I said before, we can always taste to see if we need to add any more. All right, so let's just kind of mix this together. So we're going to head over now to the stove so we can put this in our pressure cooker.
Okay guys, so now that our um, Kalheen is finished um, pressure cooking, we're now going to add in our butternut squash and carrots. And we're also going to add in our dumplings. I'm also going to add a little more water to this. Alright, so basically what we're going to do, we're just going to wait until our dumplings cook. 